Hi, I'm Meg Johnson and welcome to today's video, How I Do What I Do. So I'm going to show you something secret today, that how I do something. Um, well, it's not that secret. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and share it. Um, if you don't, don't do anything. Anyway, so I wanted to show you today how I open a candy bar. Like, I just have this little tiny one right here. So I, I told you, I think it was last Wednesday, I told you that I don't eat sugar. And uh, I don't, but I did. And I want to share uh, like, that opening a candy bar, opening a, something small like this, little fun size candy bar, uh, was one of the first things that I learned how to do with my paralyzed hands. Well, actually, um, the very first thing that I learned how to do with my paralyzed hands was put on my makeup. Do you guys like my makeup? Anyway, to put that into perspective, the second thing I learned how to do with my paralyzed hands was eat. <laughs> so, makeup is number one. Anyway, so I, I came, okay, so I was paralyzed in March. I came home from the hospital in June, and um, in October, that is when I learned how to open up a piece of candy. Actually, you know what? I'm going to dare say it was November. In November, early November, is when I first learned how to open up a piece of candy. And the reason that I remember that it was November, um, early November, was because I had found my brother's um, trick-or-treat stash, like his Halloween stash, <laughs> and he just left it in the kitchen, and I was like, oh! <laughs> And so I guess he thought it was safe there since I didn't have the use of my hands and I wasn't going to be like eating his candy, but I did. And so I went into the candy and I, I picked it up with my hands, you know, and it was so hard. Like I, I wanted to eat it so bad, but I didn't know how to open it. I just was working on it working on it. It was a Snickers. I remember it was a Snickers and it was good. And it took me a good clean six or seven minutes to open that, to open that piece of chocolate. Um, so now I'm going to impress you because I'm going to open this up a lot faster. It's actually a little bit easier too. It's got the little, the little um, opening on the back, you know, it just has the little things like that. The little, it just wraps around itself. And so what I do when I have a candy like this that just has the wrapper around itself is I just bite it. Like, I try really hard, I have to be gentle so I don't melt the candy, I don't want to keep it in my mouth too long. But I also don't want to like bite through the chocolate. So you're just really gentle, you use your teeth a lot. Oh, just like, I've been holding this candy talking to you for a minute, so it's a, a little melty. And then I can use my teeth, use my hands. it is to finally open some candy. This is actually super melty. Like, this chocolate is just so melty. Anyway, check out the prize that you get at the end. So we'll just put that to the side and let it melt a little bit. Well, let it harden up a little bit. Anyway, um, I have it on my hands and I don't eat sugar. Darn. I mean, I don't want to get to get on my clothes. So I just have to Anyway, clean it all off. So that is how I open up a piece of candy that's wrapped like that. Um, even if I don't eat candy, like, I feel awesome that I can open it. Like, I don't open candy because I don't want to eat candy, but I can. I can open candy. And I can open candy for my daughter, and she brings it to me, and I, you know, I open it right up. And I have a, I have a little rule that if my daughter offers me candy, I will eat it because I don't want to, I don't want to always... I don't want to be the mom that says no to her all the time, that I can't enjoy candy or gum with her. She brings me bubble gum all the time. Look, mommy, I, you know, opened you some gum. Like, oh yeah, and when she gets older, like, I won't have to do that as much, but I just want to share in those things with her. Anyway, not important. But I just wanted to show you how I, how I open up a little piece of candy like that. Thanks so much for watching me. Open that up and be excited with me, because I really worked hard on that. And that was not an easy thing to come by when your hands don't work. And just because my hands don't work, like other people's do, doesn't mean they don't work and doesn't mean they can't do the work that I need them to do for me. So they work just fine. I just had to figure out how it was that they wanted to work. So I work with them and they work for me. So I'm grateful for my hands and I'm grateful that I can open candy parts. So thanks again so much for watching. If you like this video, um, again, go ahead and share it. There's more videos around. Click around, watch some more stuff, subscribe to this channel if you're not already. And come and visit me on my website, MegJohnsonSpeaks.com. I'd love to see you there. There's 
lots of things to read and see and do there. Um, and contact me. I'd love to hear about things that you can do or things that you'd like to see me do. Um, and then follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Those links are down in the description below. Anyway, we'll see you next time.